Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Today we're going to be installing a, a gasket on the barrel stove kit that we made. And uh, it says 12 hours I got to do this on. That's pretty insane. 12 hour setup so um, I think you guys can see that fairly well so we're just gonna do that as is we're gonna open this guy up all the instructions are basically on here it says to apply it push down the gasket firmly then I'm gonna close the door so it pulls it in tight and uh, you gotta let it sit for 12 hours and then after 12 hours slowly heat up a fire so it will finish the curing process of the stuff I'm supposed to uh, shake it up and do a bunch of stuff too so we will do that but first it comes with a six footer um, of the gasket material so what you want to do just place it around your door and I'm going to go a little bit extra and just use a pair of scissors Ta -da. I'll keep the extra gasket because there's nothing wrong with that and you may have some leftover of this to keep as well. Now, that'll be all tucked in once it's uh, once the adhesive's on there, so nothing to worry about there. Now, this has all been fairly cleaned already, as you can tell. So. Okay, apply an eighth inch bead of gasket adhesive to the channel around the door. Press, press the gasket firmly into the channel. Wipe up any drips or spills with the wet cloth. Close the door and let stand for 12 hours. Uh, then fire appliance with low fire and slowly increase heat to permanently cure the adhesive. Shake well or stir before using. Let's do that. Shake, shake, shake. Sounds pretty solid in here though, so I don't know. Let's pull this cap off. Oh, I gotta cut this. So, um, see if I have a side cutter or something to do so with. Let's see, what do we got, folks? What do we got? Got a whole lot of options that are all buried in one way or the other <laughs> come on what do we got here hmm. unprepared is the name of the day um, I could try scissors I guess since I have those here There we go. So that worked. So let's try putting some of this dope on. Whoa, that went on pretty heavy. Well, this is more than an eighth of an inch bead. I'll tell you that. Da, 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 da. I go well I'm going pretty liberally with it because chances are since it's on an angle like this it's gonna leak out like so so I gotta kind of keep it up like that so it's level I would assume hold on Gotta move this out of the way because it looks like this adhesive is about to go for crap. 
Oops, and there goes some onto the lid, which is not good. So I overkilled the adhesive heavily. the way it is and when I tip this some of it's gonna drip off can't do anything about it so let's get this sucker I'm putting the seam on the bottom as you can see here guys oh way too much adhesive do not do what I did <laughs> hmm well, isn't that something? I may not want to shut the door because it may glue that right to the door and somehow I got excess material again. Not funny. Okay, I gotta wipe up that adhesive with this rag, big time, and I gotta cap this thing, but it's still got plenty of uh, adhesive in here, which is nice, so that's capped, probably get a better cap than that though, and then I just gotta wipe up, since we're kind of on an angle here guys, um, I gotta wipe up the drips that occurred flowing onto the front of my burner. No good. Not good at all. I gotta watch out they don't ad adhese this, the hinges here <laughs> or we'll be in trouble. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here so that doesn't go anywhere and I'm gonna cut off some of this crap. Oops, I guess that's not a good idea. So I'm just not going to mess with this anymore. But as you can see, that gasket is on there fairly good. Other than this rat's nest down here. But once this cures, I will trim that off after. That way I know it's not going to go anywhere. And I still have a decent amount for repairs and a decent amount of heat adhesive for repairs as well. So that'll do the trick, I'm sure. And always wear gloves with this crap, guys, because you just never know. And this will make it not bad for ten dollars or just under ten dollars um, this will make it kind of airtight well pretty much airtight and then 
not 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 gonna have any air leakage issues, over firing issues, etc. etc. A lot ripped out on this end because I overkilled the adhesive, but I still got plenty of adhesive left, so it's not like I skimped out. Oh, here's a spot here. Yeah, I should do the rim. Do that with my glove, maybe. Just to make sure. Nothing. This one doesn't matter, because I'm going to trim that. There. So this has to sit for a day, and then we will heat it up slowly. Maybe I'll do another small fire, um, very small fire, in the barrel stove. Um, I probably will uh, put it kind of in the middle of the barrel, light it up, just a few pieces, let the barrel warm up, and that should be plenty enough to cure this off in 24 hours. 12 hours, basically, but I gotta wait for better weather, so. Gotta do that to finish the process out. So, anyways, it's looking okay. Not perfect. But this will be a nice gasket. So, it's got the flex when you open and shut the door to keep that air in. Or the majority of that air and it's not completely airtight setup but you know that's what you're dealing with alrighty yeah